loss to Brisbane, good to get one over them? Yeah, it was good. I think it was for us, the club, it was a quarterly game of footy and it's the best performance since I've been at the club from the team. And uh, for our younger blokes, who I was obviously quite hard on last week after the game and for them it was the hardest game they would have played in. And I say that because it was a game where there was low, low penalties, Broncos were here to play, it was a fast game and we had an opportunity to win the game or lose the game. So I thought they showed that they can actually go the pace in high intensity game with the right mindset, which was really, really important for us as a club to advance forward. Because they fired shots at you though. Oh, they're yeah. good, mate. Yeah. They're like that Milford and Darius and Jimmy the Jet, Bird, yeah, brilliant players, you know. And you know, the Bronx obviously aren't quite where they'd probably want to be, but they're not going to be too far away for too long, mate. You know, they got you know, Matt Lodge was pretty strong, I thought, tonight and you know, if he's going forward like that with Pengai Junior and you know, Milford and Darius, then blokes, they're going to be winning their share of games. It's been a long while since you've probably had a defensive performance. Well, I can't remember one like that, Baz, yeah. Oh. yeah Dwayne had two tries and had a heap of repeat sets, you know, so... And I didn't think we got any 50-50 calls, you know, like the <coughs> winger had two errors we didn't get anything from. A couple of four passes got called for us, which I'm not saying they weren't, but I don't think we got many 50-50s, but we competed well and found a way to get home. Before the Milford try there at the end, there was there a forward pass in the lead up by Milford himself? Oh, I'm not sure, Baz. I, just, as I said I just didn't think we got too many 50 50s. You know, I thought in the lead up, I'm not sure if they were if a referee in the onside rule on the trial line like we have been for the past month. I'm not so sure how they were onside on Junior, but you know, but the good thing was we competed hard and we hung in there and we found a way to win against a side that's got you know a lot of very, very naturally gifted football players. Caelan Ponga. We're going to start <coughs> talking him up for origin if he keeps on going like that. Oh, yeah, look, you know, we're, we're certainly not going to talk him down, you know, but KP's young and we're, like, we love having him and we're proud of him. You know, he's a terrific young kid, you know, and, you know, and, you know the que one thing Queensland's done there, you know, Val and then Kevy, they've introduced their players at the right times, you know, and if they feel he's going to be right at some stage, you know, I'm sure they'll pick him. You know, and, you know, as I said, they've really transitioned their players so well, Queensland, and, you know, if... If they feel he's going great, good enough or great, if they think he needs another 12 months, well, that's uh, certainly up to them. But I'm certainly very grateful that he selected our club to come to, that's for sure. Mitch, he just looks like he's he's, he's that other option and and, and you, you can go to him and he can create something. He seems to take pressure off you. How, how valuable is he for your game? Yeah, well, it's, it's, I think it's just there for everyone to see. Um, yeah, he's as good as... Uh, any young player you ever see, I think, coming through, uh, it's a big rap, but I don't think anyone would disagree with that. So. Um, but like Brownie said, his, his best trade is he's humble and he listens and he works hard and um, he just wants to do, do all the dirty stuff for the team. You know, We're talking about all the, the pretty stuff he's doing with his footwork, but um, as a player, as a teammate, the best thing I like about him is the effort he's putting into the defence, the cover tackles, he's putting his head in places, he's got a big stitch on his head in there. And, um, for 19, I haven't seen too many fullbacks play that tough. Like that, that's what Origin players are made of, not just the, <laughs> the Origin talk. Yeah, you love it. <laughs> you love Origin talk. Uh, well, I'm sure when he goes in there, it'll be more of a heartache for New South Wales again. <laughs> Izzy, what, what was your thoughts on the win, mate, and the courage that the boys showed out there defensively on their line? There, I think they had three sets in a row there in the first half on, on your line uh, defensively. You recalled them each time. Yeah, the defence was. Uh, we had a really big week, not many people see it behind closed doors, but Brownie got, gave us a real rev up and the boys responded. We, um, we've been disappointed. We've been really happy with some parts of our game, um, but defensively it just hasn't been good enough and um, some of the effort areas, but it was, it was top show, it was world class tonight. It was, uh, it was as good as any team would have defended over the whole weekend, I think, and the key for us is to back it up week to week now. So we've got a big task again in Melbourne, it never gets any easier. Nathan, with this um, tough early draw, you got, um you know, only two home games out of your first eight. How important was it to win these games? Uh, really important, Rob, you know, and I think we've all agreed about how good the fans have been through some really tough times. So to be able to reward them with some wins in really close, exciting games is great. And obviously for our, you know, position on the table, obviously, as well, you know. So we got, you know, we had to Melbourne and then Tigers away, then another one away. And then, you know, if we can put some good performance in away from home, then we're going to have that chunk of games at home. And, you know, our first two games at home, we've, 
beat two sides who I feel are very, very good football sides who, you know, playing well are going to be there at the end of the year. So it's it's, it's great to play at home, but, you know, we've had one win away and over the next sort of few weeks we need to make sure we take what we took today and take it to Melbourne next week to give ourselves a shot. Brownie, I guess the, the task for you this year is closing the gap between your best and your worst. Like, you still have half a side that's still very young, but the fact that you close that gap... Mm -hmm. Well, that's the challenge way. for, you know, a lot of the experienced players we brought in have obviously proven that over the course of their careers. That's why they've played for so long, and that's the challenge for our younger players that, you know, where their good is and where their bad is to be close together, and that's the challenge for any first grader. And, you know, that's hopefully, you know, out of Junior and Chris Heineken and Aiden and these blokes that we've brought in, you know, hopefully our, our younger blokes can not only see that they play hard to win, but then they come to train and to get better and not be satisfied with just winning or just trying out, you know. So there's some good challenge there for us, but, you know, we, we certainly feel we're heading in the right direction, but we certainly need to get to where we'd like to get to as a club. We've still got, you know, we've still got our challenges yet. What did you make of Danny Levi's performance tonight? Yeah, Denny was good. Yeah, look, Denny's Denny started the year in the two trials really well, so we couldn't uh, we couldn't fold him there. It was a bit more of a a uh, balance for the team, you could say. And um, but it was it was good for Denny and Rossi. They both had their fiftieth games tonight, and they won them because they've both been a part of the club through some losing times. You know, so they haven't won a lot of football games between them. And I thought they both did really really well tonight. I thought. Rossi kick chased as good as anyone ever seen kick chase and you know Danny did a great job through the middle so we're really happy for those guys to have a milestone gaming and get a win. So Brandy, after you unbuilt the club, how do you think the rebuild is going? <laughs> oh well like, it's a bit sad, isn't it? Like the old Fox, he's won what, he's won seven premierships, he's coached for thirty years, and I ain't ever publicly bag Wayne or anyone. And then he comes and has a shot at me, like, you just don't need to, I don't think he needs to behave like that myself, but the reality is, Baz, is when Wayne come to town, if he thought with his big head rather than his little head, I wouldn't have had to rebuild the joint. A lot of people say he... You can take that, tell me if you like. 